Danny did raw. That's Bob Dylan bringing us in. Sundown on the Union. Fall of the Republic on DVD at InfoWars.com. Joe Rogan in studio, JoeRogan.net. That's a good goddamn Bob Dylan song. How do I get that? Do I get that off the iTunes? Please don't use the Lord's name in vain. Joe. Oh, sorry. G damned. Uh, what, uh, what is the uh, name of that song? Uh, it's Sundown on the Union. Sundown on the Union. I like it. How prophetic that Dylan felt. Okay. Okay, we're here at the end of the show. We're going to do 20 minutes overdrive. Joe Rogan, I really appreciate being here. I Joe Rogan.net, a wild guy, a patriot, host of the UFC, and I'm so much more. Patriot bitches. And he's going to be at the. Uh, you were like wild today. What, what is going on? You usually said. <laughs> Nothing. Come on. Hello. All right, all right, all right. All right. We got three, four minutes left in the show. I want to end it. The New World Order. I want to end it with AM 1360's Richard Hunter, KMNY, so we can do a quick talk with him so he can. Uh, Air it there locally in drive time and get people calling in about the discussion. Uh, good to have you here, Richard. Hey, Alex. What's up, Joe? Hey, what's happening, man? Okay, it I know is, this is for your is, show. Yeah, so just is, go ahead. Is, and man. I, I want to ask you guys about uh, swine flu shots because we've got a line around the block here in Dallas to get them. Should I go get in line? The CFR audio just got released a few days ago where the CFR, Council on Foreign Relations, is internally talking a month ago about people don't want it. How do we do it? Will we release limited amounts and then hype it up that it's only at certain places so the few idiots that want it all run down there to get it and it creates artificial scarcity like toy companies have been caught staging those Christmas toy riots with local news media that's in on it and then they can make a billion bucks off the you know, turbo doll or whatever yeah, it is. Everybody wants it and then everybody goes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so false artificial scarcity is what's being created. Plus, it's all over the news that they're forcing school children to take it all over the country. And when they get caught, they say, oops, it was an accident. So the truth is more than 60% of U.S. doctors, German doctors, British doctors are refusing to take it. Nurses in New York sued so they wouldn't have to take it. This stuff is dangerous. Uh, there's all sorts of uh, autoimmune problems. The insert admits it has mercury. It can cause Guillain-Barre disorder. It can cause autoimmune disorders. It can cause sterilization. Joe Rogan, uh, host of uh, the Ultimate Fighting Championship, UFC, what's your take on the vaccines? Well, there's certainly a lot of money involved in vaccines, and you have to look at that. And anyone who doesn't look at that is a fool. There is a lot of money to be made vaccinating all these people. We're talking about billions of dollars nationwide. And my friend Steve is a doctor. And my friend, you know, whenever I, uh, there's any issue in the news, I call him up. I've known him for like 20 years. And I said, what is the deal with the swine flu? And he said, here's the deal. There was an, an issue going on in Mexico. The media jumped on it. The media said, look, there's a, a new flu in Mexico. It's very dangerous. And only a few people had died from it. In comparison to regular flu, it was very minuscule, in fact. Like the, 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 the deaths, the fatalities. So he said what happens is the government <clears throat> sees that the media is following this stuff. And they say, well, we have to cover our ass now. So the government starts covering their ass and, and preparing people for the swine flu. And then the media says, well, look, look what the government's doing. And then it gets even crazier. And then, of course, the companies that make these inoculations, they come in like crazy. And gang Joe, you're right that that is part of what happened. But the companies were already making the same H1N1 a year ago before this happened. And I covered in January on air that there was going to be a stage flu run because they were training for martial law drills all over the country. The good news is the public hasn't bought it, so they're having to pull back, though Obama did declare his emergency. We document what's really going on in Fall of the Republic at InfoWars.com. But I want to thank AM 1360 for having us on. Richard, good to be with you. Thanks, Alex. See you, Joe. Thanks, man. There goes Joe Rogan. That guy was on for three seconds. He said four words. <laughs> we beat him down. <laughs> no, no, no. He wanted to interview me during the breaks. Yeah, no, but you, you during the breaks, Adam. During the breaks, I, I I do a lot of radio interviews, just like you do. I mean, I, understand. I, I bet you do inter uh, interviews every week, don't you? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So uh, you, uh, you think that this is all uh, uh, a scheme? To I know it is. Used to. Definitely. Joe, I have the documents. Back in one minute, commercial free, twenty minutes in overdrive. Only, only at PrisonPlanet.tv and InfoWars.com. Back live tomorrow for full transmission, eleven a.m. to three p.m. Central. Stay with us in overdrive with Joe Rogan.